The tea today is hot, but I'm drinking coffee. Yes. Okay, so, oof. Story time. Welcome to my channel. Here we are. My name is Matt. This is a story time I've been kind of waiting to tell for a while, and I just felt like today was the perfect day. No real reason, but just here, here we are. Okay. Back in 2018, I was straight. I was in the closet. Okay. I was terrified. I was getting really sick of um, you know, hiding my gayness. <laughs> I honestly didn't know, like, what I was gonna do, when I was gonna come out. Anyway, go watch my coming out story if you want to see all that information. But how this happened kind of shook me to the core. To this day, I still don't really know what happened. I came out in June, the month before June, which was May. My mom was hosting like kind of a women's small business thing at my house. So my mom runs a photography business. She invited like other local women that ran their own businesses to come over. And then basically it would just be like a business convention sort of thing. And it was just like a small little um, get together. It was actually fun. One business that came was a sidekick. And this sidekick was amazing first of all she was very very nice second of all she just kind of like radiated this like i know what the f you're thinking energy i was shook i was shook 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 obviously the psychic is like the hot topic and like the psychic everyone wants to see the psychic i actually invited my friend this person is not in my life anymore so we're just gonna say that her name is Jessica. So I invited Jessica over and Jessica was like, let's go see the psychic. And I'm like, that sounds like a great idea. A few people were in front of us in line and this psychic was telling them like literally everything they needed to hear. The psychic was like, yeah, like your dog's like gonna die tomorrow. So like, get ready. Uh this psychic was telling people's life stories and her customers were shook. This psychic was like, okay, like it's your turn, Matt. And I'm like, Okay. I don't know why I was so scared. Like, I didn't know what she was gonna say. Like, I, I wasn't even necessarily, like, nervous over the fact that she was gonna expose me, that I was gay, and, like, ask me in front of everybody. I was just, like, nervous in general, because that was my first time seeing a psychic. But also, me being in the closet was, like, a huge factor, so let's not, like, overlook that. She was just asking me, like, all these crazy things, like, all these crazy questions. She literally was telling me everything going on in my like week that week and also that month and like things from my past in my life that no one would have known so after talking she was like she kind of gave me like a look and she was like yeah like this was great like i'm so happy that we did this i'm like yeah me too i got like a lot of like cool information about myself some like future predictions in my life, which I kind of forget now, but whatever. Next up was my friend, Jessica. I was like, okay, like, cool, like, I'm in the clear, like, I just saw the sidekick, like, yeah, this was fun. My friend Jessica goes, at first it was going great, basically the same deal with me. Psychic was pulling things from her past, psychic was, like, telling her um, some things in her future, and then the sidekick was like, Jessica, you might want to ask Matt to leave. And I was sitting right next to her. I was like, I was listening to the whole thing. And Jessica was listening to mine. And the psychic told me to leave. Cause it's bitch. Uh, like, what the f Like, no, 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 no. I'm staying. And then Jessica was like, no, leave. And I'm like, bitch. Oh my God. They're going to talk about me being gay. I didn't think that because I was being selfish and I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna talk about me. But I thought that just because I was like, at that point in my life, I was like so paranoid in my head about my sexuality. And I thought like everybody was like talking, but like there was a lot going up, going a lot. There was, there was a lot going on up here. Okay, like I guess I'll leave, but I was terrified. So I just go inside and like, I'm sitting on my phone 
when is Jessica gonna come out? And like, when is she gonna tell me what the fuck is going on? Let me uh, drink my tea, mm. coffee. So Jessica comes in and she goes, hey, wanna talk? I go, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, might as well, you know, you just got some real hot fucking tea and I don't know what that is, so spill, okay. We talk and Jessica is like, Matt, the psychic told me something about you. And I go, <gasps> at this point, I was just about to fucking say it to her. I was about to literally be like, I'm gay, like, okay. She goes, the psychic told me that you like me. And I have a sigh of relief inside. The psychic was incorrect. The psychic told Jessica that I, I, I liked her. Physically. Emotionally. Sexually. No. The psychic didn't know that I was gay. Clearly. Or did she? Here is the f***ing tea. So I start talking to Jessica and I'm like, N like, I'm sorry. Like, I just, I just don't like you. Jessica said, The psychic told me that you would say that. Like, are you sure? Like, do you want to talk about it? Any of this? And I'm like, I'm like, bitch, I don't like you. At that point, I just didn't have like a valid excuse other than the fact that I didn't like her. But Jessica started asking all these questions and I was like, Jessica, honestly, if you had just, if you just knew right now that I was gay, all of this wouldn't be a thing. I like was honestly about to tell her right then and there that like, I'm gay. Like, that's why I don't like you. But I didn't and I was this fucking close to doing it, but I didn't. Excuse me. So we had that conversation, it was really fucking awkward because Jessica thought I liked her and I literally did not like Jessica. So that was weird. Anyway, a few days later, I was like really thinking about it and I just felt like really bad. At that point, I just felt like I was, I don't even know how to explain it. The psychic honestly kind of lit a fire under my ass. By Jessica approaching me about that, I just felt kind of like shitty over it like i just felt like i was lying to her i felt like i was lying to myself after that conversation i just like didn't want to like lie anymore if that makes sense it literally pushed me to the point where i ended up telling jessica that i was gay jessica was the first person that i told i was gay i do believe to this day the psychic told jessica that i liked her so we would have that conversation and that would lead me to come out. Don't know what it is about it, but I honestly feel like the psychic just knew what I was going through and like what needed to happen. Because at that time in my life, just in my own head, I didn't know like where I wanted my life to go, what I wanted my life to be. I didn't know if I was fucking gay or, well, well no, I knew I was gay. I don't know, after that conversation, I just feel like it, I just felt like it was such a good time and I ended up telling Jessica, I was like, yeah, I'm gay. And like, that's why I don't like you. <laughs> but that was basically what pushed me to come out. And I, I don't know, I just feel like the psychic knew. She told me, she was like, I feel like you're struggling with something internally. I'm like, girl, no, like I'm fine. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm not struggling with anything right now. <laughs> that's how that went. Pretty sure the psychic knew I was gay. Disclaimer, the psychic literally could have been wrong. <laughs> Like, completely wrong. Like, very, very, very wrong. We'll never know. I do think psychics are real, especially after that event. Thank you for watching. If you like me, you can subscribe. If you like this video, you can like it. Go see a psychic today or something. Why not, you know? Well, actually, it's gonna be kind of hard because quarantine, but just figure it out. Bye!